tell you, Black Boxing, here with another video. You know, Andre SOG Ward, uh, you know, the number one pound for pound fighter, the light heavyweight unified champion with the IBF, WBO, and WBA belts versus Sergey Kovalev. I know why, you know, some people probably wonder why I keep on mentioning, um, you know, or announcing Andre Ward in that fashion. It's because, hey, in my opinion, that man worked hard for that position. He's been number one, and they finally recognizing him. So that's the reason why I continue to um, announce him in that fashion. But Kovalev, man, you know, I'll be totally honest, man. Kovalev kind of got on my nerves, man, because he, he truly, you know, Andre Ward is just in that man's head, man, because he just can't let down that loss, man. He truly can't, man. Every day, you know, I know the name of their fight uh, for their re, uh, for their uh, rematch is called No Excuses, man. But that's the only thing Sergey Kovalev have been having, man. I mean, in, in the beginning, you didn't think the second fight was going to, you know, come off. But it has, man. You had all excuses before then, and now you have all excuses now. I mean, goodness, man. You talk, you, you know, I was reading BoxingScene.com, a couple of different articles. He said he think that Andre Ward going to pull off the fight because of an injury. Come on, man. It sounds like, sound like wishful thinking for, to me if you had, you know. You probably hope that Andre Ward do uh, pull out the fight. You know, talking about... Uh, he think, you know, he's scared and stuff like that. Man, the man fought you, man. The man moved up in weight and fought you. You know, he only had two fights at 175 before he fought you. So, the man ain't scared, man. He beat you fair and square. You know? And he talking about he, he don't like war. Um, he walks around as if, like, he got a crown on his head, I guess, to say that he's better than everybody. I mean, come on, man. It don't matter how that man walk around, dude. You got to, in a couple of months, man. You got to fight with this guy. You tell me you just want to punch him in the head. Well, in a couple months, you can do all of that, man. You know? Dude, now, you know, now, now you saying that, you know, uh, you, quote, unquote, overtrained for the fight. You know what, dude? Just say, <laughs> just say you lost the fight. And this particular in the rematch, you're going to come with a better strategy. And you're going to try your best, you know, to beat this guy, man. You don't have to make no lies. You don't have to make no excuses, man, or none of that, man. You know, so out of all the fights, you know, you overtrain. You're a professional. You've been a professional for all, these, all this time. You know, it's a unified light heavyweight champion at one point in time. But now... Quote unquote, in a Chilamba fight and a war fight, which fight you look the most vulnerable? You look like a man instead of looking like a robot because you're knocking everybody out in front of you. Since those two guys, you know, uh, withstood your firepower and was able to make the distance with you, you know, even though you beat Chilamba but you lost the war, now you overtrain. Oh, okay, you know what, man? Just, you know, the, the excuses just don't stop with you, man. You know, and like I said, it's getting on my damn nerves and it's pissing me off because, you know, in my opinion, Waters truly is in your head. And you already lost the fight, man. I don't have to make a prediction, dude, because you already lost the fight because you just can't just keep the guy off your head. You can't just, in order for you to do better in a rematch, you got to let the past be the past and just say you lost the fight. Even if you believe you won a fight, then say the judges gave it to him. In a close fight, because it was close. You know what I mean? In your opinion, you probably don't think it was close, but uh, everybody, you know, um, in the right mindset. I ain't talking about no fanboyism. I'm talking about in the right mindset, but, but who, no matter who they believe won that first fight, we all come to the consensus that it was a close fight, no matter who you pick. So once you can come to that mind state, that, like, okay, it was a close fight in this particular fight. They gave it to us. So, in this particular time, in this the second fight, which I'm getting an opportunity, you got you get an opportunity to get all your belts back and to avenge your loss. All right? Because there's no rematch clause. So, for all the haters, 
the detractors and all the negative uh, people. It's no rematch clause for a third fight. All right, so winners take all. You know, Kovalev's not even thinking about. It. He said if he went, he's not really even thinking about a third fight because he don't want to get back in our in, in our with him anyway. You know, despite all everything that he's saying, he's he's building his confidence back up because his confidence is shook, in my opinion. And he's telling himself all these things to hype himself up in order to get back in the ring with the guy. Because at the end of the day, Andre Ward is still undefeated. And he gave, no matter what y'all want to say, no matter how y'all feel, he gave Sergey Kovalev his first L. And it's bothering the hell out of him because guess what? He's been winning all his time and he can't take a loss. So that's why Andre Wood been playing my games with him, saying he was going to retire and say that he was going to, um, you know, you don't know if he's going to do a rematch and things of that nature just to stall him out, just to keep him on the sideline, just to keep him on ice, just to play with his mind. And, that's, and, it, worked, and it worked wonderfully. You know, so in my opinion, Sergio Kovalev needs to be focused, man. You know, so I, don't, I'm, you know, I was reading, like I said, boxing that comment. He's talking about he's not gonna overtrain. He's just gonna do one hour of uh, in the morning of road, uh, road work and do one hour of uh, training, boxing training. At night, in my opinion, man, if you're only going, only going to do one hour of road work and one hour of uh, boxing training, man, you, you, you really going to lose the damn fight, man. You, I think you need to do more, a little bit more work than just two hours of uh, work, man, in my opinion. So, but hey, if that's what he do, man, if that's what he, that's what, if that would had him uh, successful in all those fights he's won, and look good in and got the knockouts in, then oh wait, okay, wait, go back to doing that, man. You know. In my opinion, man, just admit that Andre Wood was the better uh, boxer that night. You know, and go back to the drawing board and try to get your best opportunity to win a fight, man, because two months to be here in no time. And as, like I said, as the banner states, no excuses. Got to leave it all in the ring. And it is what it is, man. I'm just tired of, you know, hearing his excuses and saying what he's going to do. And also, um, you know, James Prince was saying that, you know, um, Kovalev keep being so vocal about getting a knockout. But don't, forget, don't be surprised if he get knocked off of himself. And Kovalev's like, well, I'm not worried about the knockout because Andre Ward, uh, when he punches, it's like a woman slapping or something like that. Come on, man. If that was true, you would have, after you uh, stunned Andre Ward and knocked Andre Ward down, you would have steamrolled him, right? But evidently, Andre Ward punches, and what he was doing evidently was stopping you in your tracks. Because if it wasn't, you, as he, as you stated, quote unquote, he slaps like a, uh, when he punches, he slaps like a woman's uh, slapping. If that was true, you would have steamrolled him. And, uh, you know, it wouldn't have been, you wouldn't have lost the damn fight. Because evidently, those slaps was uh, stopping you in your tracks and stop you from uh, furthering your game plan. And just give people their props when it's due, man. I'm K-Black Boxing. Like, comment, and subscribe.